In the extraordinary spreading out of the cutting-edge universe, people have long taken apart whether we're remote from each other. We've taken a gander at the stars, checked on the colossal plans of universes, and determined to view the potential for life beyond our little blue planet. That potential has finally come to culmination. Recently, NASA's chief analyst revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has detected something remarkable. Prepare yourself. On the edges of our incomprehensible time, a phenomenal secret has been uncovered. Life has been perceived on a world known as Proxima b, and it changes everything. The investigation of the environments of exoplanets that pass before their stars obliges us as we uncover the secrets revealed by the James Webb Telescope and consider what the discovery of. Life on Proxima b could mean for the future of space exploration and all humankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a marvel that contributes to changing how we interpret the universe. The telescope's high-level construction, combined with its exceptional situation in space, gives scientists an unparalleled perspective on the universe. Moreover, it allows them to focus on faraway cosmic structures, planets, and stars in a manner that was never possible before. This might seem like a lot of empty claims, but it actually has the technology to make all of that real. One of JWST's most critical abilities is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 m in width. This is over two times the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been one of the most critical tools for space exploration in recent years. With such a gigantic mirror, JWST can capture the smallest glimmers of light from the farthest reaches of the universe elements that the realm of science hasn't always had the option to see. Scientists have long speculated about what lies beyond the restrictions of a conventional telescope, but with this one, they can at long last see the genuine details they've been dreaming about. This time, it's not only its enormous mirror. The JWST is outfitted with a suite of cutting-edge instruments capable of detecting a tremendous range of light frequencies. The close-infrared camera, NERCAM as it's usually called, is a powerful asset designed to capture images in the near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is that significant? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust and mist that block visible light, permitting us to see further into the vast depths of space. NERCAM's high-resolution imaging capabilities give space experts an unmatched view to inspect the development of stars and galaxies. This astounding instrument's primary objectives include focusing on the early universe and its ancient light, examining the arrangement and development of galaxies, and distinguishing and characterizing exoplanets. The detailed pictures captured by NERCAM reveal hidden details and structures that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It enables us to perceive how large-scale frameworks shape and evolve over time, providing insights into the mysterious processes that shape our vast space and beyond. However, that's only one tool. There's also the near-infrared spectrograph NERSPEC and the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, which take the investigation of stars and cosmic systems to an unprecedented level. By separating the light emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or frequencies, this technique known as spectroscopy provides vital information about the chemical composition, temperature, and structure of these objects, enhancing scientists' ability to explore the intricate workings of stars and galaxies. It gives scientists precise insights into everything it examines. Focusing on the absorption and emission lines in the spectra allows researchers to determine the elements present in a star or gas cloud, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information enables us to comprehend the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the complex interactions between these celestial bodies. Furthermore, NERSPEC plays a critical role in the study of distant, high redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Exploring their spectra helps astronomers determine their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, shedding light on the universal evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. Regarding the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI on the JWST has been explicitly designed to examine objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths. This capability allows us to explore various phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to study the dusty regions where stars are conceived. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, allowing MIRI to peer through the astronomical dimness and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared range, 
offering astronomers critical insights into the processes occurring within these celestial nurseries. However, that's not all. Miri also plays a significant role in the quest for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by observing in the mid-infrared, allowing Miri to detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up valuable opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. Miri's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life. These are just the components that could support life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for indications of something occurring beneath the surface? Two of the primary techniques it utilizes are spectroscopy and transit observations. At the core of this work lies spectroscopy, a method that permits researchers to analyze the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. With regards to exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us interpret the atomic secrets hidden within their atmospheres. When the JWST focuses on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a remarkable event, where the exoplanet passes before its host star from our viewpoint. As this happens, the JWST simply observes the starlight passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this vital light with no specs succeeding in the near-infrared range, while Miri takes charge in the mid-infrared space. Together, they form a dynamic duo, covering a wide scope of frequencies fundamental for in-depth investigation. You might be wondering, what's the big deal about catching starlight during a transit? Well, this starlight contains essential information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with different particles present, leaving specific fingerprints or molecular signatures on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered light using its spectroscopic capabilities. Scientists can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its unique set of spectral features, so they simply need to be pinned down and listed to piece the whole story together accurately. To get precise results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and analysis. It relies on complex simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding atomic identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanets. Atmospheric language. Distinguishing the presence of specific molecules is only the beginning. The search for signs of something going on deep down requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists search for molecules considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor elements essential for supporting life on Earth. However, more insights and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of organic activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST supplements its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques. In the vast domain of the universe, people have long questioned whether we're alone. We've looked at the stars, examined distant universes, and embarked on a quest to discover the potential for life beyond our small blue planet. That potential has at long last been realized. NASA's chief recently revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has found something remarkable. Prepare yourself. On the edges of our vast timeline, a fantastic mystery has been revealed. Life has been sighted on a world called Proxima b, and it changes everything. The investigation of the atmospheres of exoplanets that pass before their stars obliges us as we uncover the secrets revealed by the James Webb Telescope and consider what the discovery of life on Proxima b could mean for the possible future of space exploration and all humanity. The James Webb Space Telescope is a scientific marvel that promises to change how we interpret the universe. The telescope's sophisticated technology, coupled with its unique role in space, gives scientists an unprecedented view of the universe. It allows them to focus on distant cosmic structures, planets, and stars in a way that has never been possible before. This may sound like a lot of empty claims, but it has the technology to make all of that real. One of JWST's most impressive features is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 m in diameter. This is over two times the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been one of the most significant tools for space exploration in recent years. With such a massive mirror, the 
JWST can capture the faintest glint of light from the farthest parts of the universe elements that the realm of science hasn't always been able to see. Scientists have long speculated about what lies beyond the boundaries of a conventional telescope, but with this one, they can at last see the real details they've been longing for. This time, it's not just its huge mirror. The JWST is equipped with an array of state-of-the-art instruments that are capable of detecting a wide variety of frequencies of light. The Close Infrared Camera, NERCAM as it's commonly known, is a crucial tool designed to capture images in the near-infra. Red Region of the Electromagnetic Spectrum why is that important? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust and gas that obscure visible light, allowing us to see further into the vast depths of space. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capabilities give astronomers an unparalleled view to study the formation of stars and galaxies. This remarkable instrument's primary objectives include studying the early universe and its ancient light, investigating the formation and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets, the detailed images captured by NERCOM reveal hidden structures and phenomena that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It enables us to see how large-scale systems form and evolve over time, providing insights into the mysterious processes that shape our cosmos. But that's only one instrument. There's also the near-infrared spectrograph NERSPEC and the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, which take the study of stars and galaxies to a new level. By breaking down the light emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or wavelengths, this technique known as spectroscopy provides essential information about the chemical composition, temperature, and structure of these objects, enhancing scientists' ability to explore the intricate workings of stars and galaxies. It gives scientists precise insights into everything it examines. By examining the absorption and emission lines in the spectra, researchers can determine the elements present in a star or gas cloud revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information allows us to understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the complex interactions between these celestial bodies. Furthermore, NERSPEC plays a crucial role in studying distant, high redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Analyzing their spectra helps astronomers determine their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, shedding light on the universal evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. When it comes to the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI on the JWST is specifically designed to study objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths. This capability allows us to explore various phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to study the dusty regions where stars are formed, Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, allowing Miri to peer through the cosmic veil and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared range, offering astronomers critical insights into the processes occurring within these celestial nurseries. But that's not all. Miri also plays a significant role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. By observing in the mid-infrared, MIRI can detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up valuable opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. MIRI's observations help us detect the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life. These are just the elements that could support life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of something going on under the surface? Two of the primary techniques it uses are spectroscopy and transit observations. At the core of this work lies spectroscopy, a method that allows scientists to analyze the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. In the case of exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us interpret the molecular secrets hidden within their atmospheres. When the JWST focuses on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a remarkable event, where the exoplanet passes in front of its host star from our viewpoint. As this happens, the JWST simply observes the starlight passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this vital light with NERSPEC excelling in the near-infrared range, while MIRI takes charge in the mid-infrared region. Together, they form a dynamic duo covering a wide range of wavelengths essential for in-depth analysis. You might be wondering, what's the big deal about capturing starlight during a transit? Well, this starlight contains essential information. 
about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with different molecules present, leaving specific fingerprints or molecular signatures on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered light using its spectroscopic capabilities. Scientists can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its unique set of spectral features, so they simply need to be pinned down and listed to piece the whole story together accurately. To get precise results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and analysis. It relies on complex simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding atomic identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Detecting the presence of specific molecules is only the beginning. The search for signs of something going on beneath the surface requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists search for molecules considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor elements essential for supporting life on Earth. However, more insights and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of biological activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST supplements its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques. The JWST's advanced imaging instruments, such as NERCAM and MIRI, capture high-resolution images of exoplanets and their surrounding environments. These images provide valuable context and additional data to complement the spectroscopic analysis. By studying the surface features, atmospheric dynamics, and potential biosignatures in images, scientists can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the exoplanet's habitability. Furthermore, the JWST collaborates with ground-based observatories and other space telescopes to conduct multi-wavelength observations. This coordinated effort allows scientists to gather data across different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, enhancing the accuracy and reliability of their findings. For example, ground-based telescopes like the extremely large telescope ELT and the giant Magellan Telescope GMT can provide complementary observations in visible and near-infrared light, further refining our understanding of exoplanetary atmospheres, combining all. These observational techniques and data sources creates a robust framework for searching for signs of life on exoplanets. It is a meticulous process that involves careful analysis, cross-referencing, and collaboration among scientists worldwide. The JWST's advanced capabilities and cutting-edge technology bring us closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? As the JWST continues its mission, the search for life on exoplanets like Proxima b remains an ongoing and exciting journey. The potential discovery of extraterrestrial life would revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within. It, it would open up new avenues for scientific exploration, technological advancements, and philosophical contemplation. The James Webb Space Telescope represents a leap forward in our ability to explore the cosmos and search for signs of life. Its advanced instruments, spectroscopic capabilities, and imaging technology provides scientists with unprecedented opportunities to investigate exoplanetary atmospheres, detect biomarkers, and study the conditions necessary for habitability. With each new discovery, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe and unlocking the secrets of life beyond Earth.